And with that report there, well, that brings us perfectly to Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined here by Kathleen marchand Dabro. Kathleen, good to see you. You've been analysing sources of misinformation on Twitter targeting Brazil's upcoming presidential elections. Tell us more about what you found. Indeed, Fraser. Uh, this Sunday, Brazilians go to the polls in these high-stake elections uh, as the battle between Lula and Bolsonaro heats up, uh, especially on social media, as you can imagine, uh, where the menace of fake news is uh, ever-growing as it usually is in Brazil. Uh, here we have some recent examples from uh, this week posted by pro Bolsonaro supporters. Here's the first post uh, by Luiz uh, Bolsonaro 2022. Uh, so a fervent Bolsonaro supporter uh, posted on September 25th uh, with over 27,000 views. Here we see this uh, train on a fire um, with the caption that reads, they elected Gabriel Boric, uh, president of Chile, now they react against his communist measures and set the country on fire. So this is a caption that we're going to see over and over again as it's going to be a common uh, theme in this threat of misinformation that we're going to present. Uh, let's take a look at the video that goes with the post. Here's the video right here uh, where we see this train in the metro station that was set ablaze allegedly by protesters in Chile, uh, allegedly reacting uh, to against uh, President Boric and his so-called uh, communist measures as they set the country on a fire. Then we have our second example right here. Here's our second uh, tweet. Um, from uh, Deus es Soberano Fiel, uh, this is uh, one uh, Twitter user, uh, claiming Chile is literally on fire. This is a reflection of abstention, uh, which is another issue during these elections. Uh, this was also posted on September 25th, uh, claiming uh, that if they elect Gabriel Boric, president of Chile, uh, they react against uh, uh, Chileans reacting against the president's uh, communist measures. Uh, we have the video uh, that goes with the post right here, uh, where we see this building on fire. So pretty impressive images, uh, considering that the building uh, was allegedly set ablaze by uh, protesters, as the posts claim. Uh, so last but not least, we have this final post uh, here, uh, claiming a uh, wake up Brazil. There is the result of the wrong choice of Chileans uh, with the caption, the same caption once again that we've been seeing over and over again uh, against the communist measures of uh, President uh, Gabriel Boric. And once again, this was posted on September 25th, uh, warning the country against uh, communism or in other words, uh, Lula's uh, left-wing government. Uh, and this time we could see uh, this video of uh, cars being set ablaze uh, by what they allege to be Chilean protesters uh, claiming, once again, wake up Brazil. This right here is the result of the wrong choice of Chileans. Frazier? Well, are these images really Chilean protesters demonstrating against the measures of, pres of the president, Gabriel Boric? These images are indeed Chilean protesters setting the country ablaze, as these Twitter users point out. However, they're not protesting against uh, President Gabriel Boric. Uh, as we conducted a reverse image search, uh, we, uh, con uh, we found that all the images correspond uh, to the year 2019 in Chile, where, as we can recall, uh, Chile declared a state of emergency after uh, a violent nationwide ri riots took over the country uh, over a rise in the metro fair. And these protests uh, took place under Sebastián Piñera's uh, presidency during his second term from 2018 to 2022. So riots that took place under, so riots that did not take place under the presidency of uh, Gabriel Boric. So let's take a look at uh, where these videos uh, come from. Uh, for the first video of the subway station right here, uh, we have it uh, posted by Telesur TV, uh, Latin American media, uh, in October 20th, 2019, uh, where they report a subway unit set on fire in the city of Santiago de Chile. So here's the first debunk for the first video in the metro station uh, that belongs to riots that took place on October 20th, uh, 2019. 
for the second video right here of the building on a fire, we have this post by Boris uh, van der Speck, which is a who is a freelance journalist in Chile. And once again, the post is also from October 19th, 2019. So by the time that these uh, nationwide uh, riots took place in Chile, uh, claiming that this is a footage from the Enel building, uh, a symbol for Santiago engulfed in flames, and that according to news sources, uh, protesters were setting fire uh, around the city as well, as they called this the Evasión Masiva, turning into complete outrage uh, all over Chile. Finally, for our final uh, debunk for the third uh, video that we showed of the cars being set ablaze, uh, this uh, video was posted by Alerta de Emergencia on October 20th, uh, 2019. So in this timeline of riots in Chile, and uh, this uh, video was uh, taken by a uh, in uh, Rancagua, Chile, as they say, caos in Rancagua by protesters in uh, Chile as well, in the city of Rancagua. Hence, uh, videos out of context, context um, in order to spread misinformation uh, regarding these upcoming presidential elections in Brazil. Uh, so uh, Brazilian voters do keep an eye out for this menace of uh, fake news during this presidential election, uh, especially considering uh, that four out of 10 Brazilians uh, receive disinformation in a daily basis. Frazier. Okay, well, Kathleen, just goes to show that you need to pay attention to what you post online and the perfect crossover of your knowledge of the South American continent as well. Perfect. Kathleen, you know, three to fake. Thank you for that. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back at the top of the hour. Do stay tuned to France 24.